One reason to replace your fluorescent under cabinet fixtures with LEDs is um, brightness. The one on the right hand side is a fluorescent 24 inch. The one on the left is an 18 inch LED. An appreciable difference in brightness levels. Plus, no buzz and it's more energy efficient. Today I uh, went over to Home Depot, got a commercial electric I think it was about $36. It's a 24 inch LED. And we're going to uh, swap out the fluorescent unit. You're going to need drill, put in a little hole, uh, a screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, powered or manual, some electrical tape. I use some splice line, and you'll see in the reason because installation on this could be a lot easier, but it's not. So you end up cutting a cord. Oh, we're going to need also a, uh, a wire cutter and probably a wire stripper. After making sure the power is off, we uh, remove the lens, remove the tube, make sure that's placed in a nice safe place where it doesn't fall over and burst on you, and disengage the electronics from the old unit. It drops down. Release the caps. And then we're going to unscrew that side, that side, remove this piece of metal. The Home Depot LED light fixture comes with three wire nuts, a nut, an adapter so you can go from uh, the big end of the BNX, BX cable to smaller to fit in there. These are smaller knockouts. So you have three knockouts on top and three on the side, none on the ends. It's a plastic frame with a metal back. The reason why I said we're going to cut something is, let me show you when I take off this back. There are two screws that hold the back which you're going to have to remove to do the installation. See this back blade? It's got a ground wire. And you need to install this unit to here, which means this is going to dangle along. And instead of using a screw, it's um, bolted on. So I solved that problem by just coming over here and cutting it. Okay, now that's out of the way. You can either use one of these lock, lock nuts, because you'll have one left over, or you can use the splice line, which you can pick up at Home Depot for about three, three or four bucks. So uh, the other nice thing is if, you, if you're using the lockout nut over here, this ballast actually is just stuck on with foam tape, so you can pull it up and Get it out of the way so you can work while you're in your connection and just stick it back down. The wires aren't that long. I've heard people complain about them. Uh, this one isn't bad. The other unit had slightly shorter wires, so quality control is not great. But this is plenty of wire, especially some sun coming in through the center knockout. So we're going to take out the center knockout. Now we're going to put in the, uh, the BX adapter. I'm going to assemble it because it has the compression clamp on it. Because it's much easier to assemble that right now than to try to do it on the actual frame. And I only drive in the screws deep enough so that Uh, it holds everything. Put the nut underneath. Make sure that your screw heads end up facing towards the lights. Okay, the BX adapter is on. I'm just going to feed those wires through here. And as you see, I've uh, detached 
the ballast. Again, it's just stuck on with adhesive. So that'll give me some room to work. And once I get that wiring through here, I'm going to clamp this to the metal on the BX and secure those two. And then I can proceed to actually uh, wiring in the rest of the unit. So the screws are facing down towards the light. I know I was showing them the wrong way earlier. I'm going to feed the wire through. And once this threads up onto the cable, then you can screw those in. Okay, so that's secured. Now we proceed to wiring white to white. It's coming off the ballast and the black goes to the black. So we'll get those put on with the lock nuts. Lock nuts are in. I actually used the, uh, the ones that came with the fluorescent fixture. Just figured I'd recycle those. And now I'm just going to stick this ballast back in place. And space is kind of tight, so you want to make sure that you can tuck it into a corner so that, see, you have some gap. So you can hide this in, so you can get that flat cover back in place. Now the last step is, now that that's in place, we have to worry about the ground wire, which remember I cut. So I'm just going to use one of these little inline things. This is what they look like. Uh, wire goes in on that side, another wire goes in that side, and you have a connection. So I've got one in already installed and here's the other one. Just wanted to show you how this works. This slides in. Make sure that this is nice and twisted. So it gives you a good point. Otherwise it'll just spread and won't do anything. And then once it gets in there, you can feel it come to the end. Oops. That one failed. Not embarrassing, just human. Okay, so we insert it, and now it's done. So the big challenge is to get this panel back in here, and there's a notch in there where it has to catch, and then once it catches into that notch, you just lay it down, and then there are two screw holes here and here. You screw it, and that'll seal the back of the unit, and then we'll have to drill some holes for this unit to mount up, and did they make that easy? No. The two screws are in. The plate is installed. Again, it tucks underneath this lip. All the wires are in. The armored, the BX cable is clamped in. So now there's a hole there, and there's a hole there. And when you lift this up, there'll be a hole at this end and at the other end. That's how you're going to mount that to here. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to drill in a pilot hole. That's where the drill comes in. 330 seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold this up and just drill through that opening until I bite into some of this wood, move the unit out of the way, and then drive the screw in part way, do the same thing on the other side, so that when I go to install this unit, the screws will just drive in really easy. The unit is installed. Let's energize much, much brighter 
than the previously installed fluorescent lights. Remember, we had a 24-inch tube and an 18-inch, and the 18-inch LED outshined the 24-inch fluorescent. So now, my wife should be very happy because she has tons and tons of light in this area. I'm no electrician. It took me about uh, less than two hours, including making the video.